from the National Weather Service. It's your friend and ours, uh, Matt Friedline. Good morning. Good morning, Charles. Now, it is it's going to be a sticky one today. Uh, let's talk about that heat first and foremost. How hot are we going to get over the next few days? Yes, a heat wave here for the entire state of Illinois. Uh, low 90s for actual temperatures today and then mid to upper 90s Tuesday and Wednesday. And a little reprieve at nights with uh, nighttime temperatures Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights in the mid to upper 70s. Yeah. That's just yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> is there is there any uh, is there any relief coming from this thing afterwards? Are we going to get back down into cooler weather after this? There is yes. At the uh, end of the week and into the weekend, so that looks like good news. Uh, it looks like gradually through the day Thursday we'll start to get a drier air mass in here, and then by Thursday night into the weekend it looks like a reprieve. But uh, three solid days here of of heat across the listening area. L- a little reprieve today with some clouds in the middle of the day but uh otherwise you're going to feel that humid air and uh, air conditioning is going to have to stay on day and night here let's talk about this afternoon there's potential for some storms through the area and i know that there's all sorts of facts and figures and people sharing things on social media and what the storms this afternoon will bring uh we're going to go right to the source and and ask you what are we looking at across uh, Southern Lee County, Northern LaSalle County, and, and North Central Illinois today. Yeah, the the edge of a heat dome is sort of a precarious place to be, as we say as meteorologists, because there's often big thunderstorms, but they're challenging to predict the exact path they're going to take. And then they could really disrupt the heat, too. I think the listening area here will really not get much cooling reprieve of these storms. And the the big emphasis looks to be further to your north and northeast toward the Wisconsin state line, then toward the Chicago metro and onward into Indiana and Ohio. These storms are actually organizing now in northeast Iowa. So that adds some confidence that they'll probably stay north of the listening area, at least the, the real organized storms. Some isolated storms that could be severe, too, between noon and 3 p.m. We'll have to watch for a little further south, and that's where some of the clouds come in that uh, could at least keep the temperatures down a few degrees today. Uh, But uh, at least the stronger, more organized storms look to remain a little to your north and northeast. So I don't have to worry about uh, acquiring my neighbor's patio set anytime soon? Hopefully, hopefully not. Uh, not not today. Heat waves tend to end with some good storms, too. Uh, but uh, that looks like that may be late Wednesday night, Thursday morning. And that time of day may help to keep the storms from being too potent in the area. But we'll have to keep an eye on that as the week goes on. Now, this is going to be one of those hot weather stretches where I don't know if you can cook an egg on a sidewalk. But I joked earlier, could we hard boil an egg in a car? Do you think that would be possible? You know. It it. it <laughs> I don't know if it would be if that would be doable to to get a hard boiled egg, but it, it is definitely going to be dangerous in any uh, closed cars. Uh, that that is for sure, and that leads to some good uh, safety tips to uh, limit the time uh, outside. Uh, take frequent breaks if you have to be out there. Wear the sunscreen, of course. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday will have very little clouds, if any, so it'll be full sun. And check in on the elders too and. If you don't have air conditioning, really look to get to a cooler place if you if you can, because it's it's going to be a, a press of the next few days. Yep, I've actually started drinking water now, just in advance. <laughs> um, Something you should be doing every day. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the thing about me and water consumption. Um, it's a clear liquid in yeah. a glass, Yeah. and I, I just don't feel like I'm accomplishing anything with it. So you put it in a bottle and use a straw. <laughs> yeah, you see, unless it's got vodka written on it, I, <laughs> I'm really... I can arrange that for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a hard sell for me. Matt Friedline on the phone from the National Weather Service. Thank you so much for chiming in this morning. We appreciate the info, and yeah, stay cool, okay? And you as well, Charles and Karen. Thank you. <laughs> it's Thank classic you. country. 100.1 WGLC.